Welcome back in. It is now time for our Friday night feature. The Wade Indians made the playoffs for the first time in school history this year, and no one is more excited than Jason Beiser. He has been their number one fan for years, and last week he got the experience of a lifetime. We first introduced you to Jason Beiser way back in 2013. His story caught our attention because he stole the show at a youth football game. Back then, he was playing for Garfield, and he came onto the field and ran through the defense for a touchdown. But since then, Jason has been through a lot. He was born with trisomy 15. It's a rare chromosomal condition. In 2018, he had brain surgery and spent 60 days at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus. Jason Beiser. We documented his story along the way, and we were there once again on senior night when he got his chance to shine during a varsity football game. It's been planned since his freshman year to get him out of the wheelchair to be able to do this. So he's worked very hard at therapy, at school, to get his endurance up to be able to do it. So it means the world to us. Jason led the team out through the banner before the game. This was his big moment. His best friend, Javon Pratt, was on the sideline. The two have been close for years. Pratt, the former weight quarterback, wasn't going to miss this night. And after some last minute instructions, Jason hit the field. Javon is like our other son. Like we say that all the time. His mom and I always joke that they were twins born by different moms. And that Jason and Javon just have this amazing bond, and it'll never end. So on senior night, Jason returned to the field where he scored that touchdown way back in 2013. And he got to be part of a varsity football game for the very first time. It was just a five yard run on the stat sheet, but it might as well have been a game winning touchdown run to win a city championship. I'm happy for him because this is what he's you know built up to through all the things that's happened in his life. Like I said before, he doesn't think anything's wrong with him. He, he's a normal kid. He's just like the rest of them. He wants to be out there and play. You even got more than what you were supposed to do. I know, dog. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. That's all we wanted is for him to be accepted as Jason, like not to be treated any differently, and the kids don't do that. They treat him as an equal. They come and see him in class. They practice, they take them under their wings to always just talk to them, like they'll stop to talk with them. And that's what we wanted. We didn't want them excluded. And for Jason, no one could ever question his loyalties. Let's go again. The Indians fell tonight on the road in their first ever playoff game, but they were able to deliver a moment that Jason Beiser will never forget.